<sighs> okay. Um, let's do the time warp again. It's just a skeletal fortress to the left. And then Templar to the right. And welcome back to Wolfpack Gaming. I'm Craig here with my buddy Costa. We're playing some more open world game, the Skeleton Fortress, the open world game. <laughs> Skeletal Fortress, the open world game. Oh. We're going up the mountain. This is topography. Oh, God. This is so amazingly disorienting because you know you're on a mountain, but it's in, but it's entirely in 2D. You're going to Skyrim up this mountain. Continuously jump. So we got Ancient Heroes Mask. Is that what we just got? think so eh. if i if i have one actual complaint about this game it's it's the fact that we have to look through these menus to It'd be better if we had the mouse mo uh, movement but because right. i think having to go like up and down scrolling through it is yeah i, I wonder if that does help actually <gasps> it, it it's does. it's still pretty slow though it's slow but yeah, a thin blue mask that covers your eyes and gives you the identity of an ancient hero. Which one? The ancientest one. The, <laughs> the eldest. The an the ancient hero. So what this means is we're going to be at the top of whatever, and this thing is at the top. Okay, so this must be important. Snowball bowling. That's that sounds awesome. That's really, really important. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I could have asked for anything more important. Um, okay, so that that was in side quests, right? No, that would be under relationships. We have relationships with the snowballs. Thank you, Costa. You're welcome. A man living alone in a cabin at the top of a mountain asks you to play a game of supersized bowling with giant snowballs. You found a way to get a strike. You were rewarded with the best means of making money. Which, Which is... is high five. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, <laughs> the high five was so good <laughs> that my mic stand almost fell over. What is the best way? Show me the way. I will show you the way, my brother. So according to the topography, right there is like a really steep cliff. Okay. And uh, now we're starting to level out a little bit, but now it's starting to go back up. Uh. It's, I uh, it, this is just so weird. Oh, we're in absenteeism. Uh, okay, we got a book collector entry. Didn't we have a quest over here somewhere? Did we? Yeah, we're supposed to go to absentee to go do the thing. I wonder when we'll find a main quest. I don't think we're going to. I think that's the point. There is no more main quest. We it's have, just side quest now. We have to find the hideout. Okay. <laughs> Relationship. Ooh. Hurrah. Hurrah. Let's check that out. I remember out. that dude. Which one was he again? Was he was the one he like where the... our relationship got stronger? Oh, wait a second. We did get we did get things. Yeah, we got one less. Oh my god, it gets more. Oh, actually, I do remember this now. Yeah, we got it like way in the beginning. I just never checked it out because I didn't feel like it. <laughs> Whoopsie. The, the stories get so much longer you found the restorers back at the rising sands waiting for gesh to return so they could tell him about the ring in the meantime they had captured a mysterious hooded figure who was snooping around the fallen tree that marks the entrance and had him tied up in a corner it was the same hooded figure you left locked in a cell back in sky arch his fortunes not improved the man begged to speak to you and told you his name was hanthamin of the beast man beast men from the infinite wastes you call him tham he came to warn you about gesh who he said visited the vathian headquarters many times and has probably been one of them all along you initially scoffed at the notion but then cell ran into you to tell or to tell you that gesh had just been spotted leading an army of vathians back with him you confronted gesh and he revealed that vathgar is actually long dead but his power can still be harnessed the ring in your possession is called the Dragon's Eye and is one of three Vothian artifacts that can be used together at Vothgar's shrine near the mist to imbue the wielder with the ancient power of Vothgar. 
The two other artifacts are the stone scales and the mist bear claw, which Gesh has been wearing the entire time. Damn! He demanded the dragon's eye so that he could ascend to be the great ruler of Exodia that he was always destined to be. You tried in vain to resist him, but were struck down and lost the ring. As your consciousness faded, a blinding flash of light covered the battlefield, and you felt yourself being lifted up, hopefully being carried back to the rising sands. I remember this happened, like, like the chapters we collected at the at the beginning were, like, they were so insanely close to each other. So it, it it's just worth bringing up again that, like, the amount of time between Chapter 7 and Chapter 8 was, like, seconds. Yeah, but we also never got to Chapter 10. We, we never did. Where is Chapter 10, then? Assumably by all the other chapters, since we didn't exactly go very far for them. Maybe if you read Chapter 9, we'd know. Okay, fine. And again, will. like, all of these journal entries have nothing to do with where to find they really, everything. They, yeah, I don't know. You awoke to find yourself surrounded by the other restorers who were all ecstatic to see you awake. It was Tham who blinded the Vothians with a common beastman weapon and aided in your escape. Gesh apparently had no time to waste and set off west with his army to the shrine of Vothgar. Battered and tired, you still managed to rouse the others to race after Gesh and stop a sinister plot. Hroth, Bleh, Sel, Veriche, Enel, and Hanthamon. Who the fuck is Enel? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember who Enel is. We and never got introduced to him. And Hanthamon all join your surprise counterattack against the Vothians. Surprise because we didn't know one of the people. Amidst the chaos of the <laughs> battlefield, you make out Gesh running back into the shrine, and you chased after him. You could not stop him as he made it to the intersect of where the shrine gives way to the deep void of mist. In that moment would all seem lost, a large dragon roar shook the earth, air, and your very bones. A gigantic dragon appeared out of the mist, roaring again and knocking everyone off their feet. In one large... <coughs> The dragon ate Gesh, and he was gone. The Vothians soon retreated, and the Restorers stood victorious. Filled with excitement, shock, and abounding camaraderie, you decided that the next step is simply to go out and explore Exodia, trying to make the world a better place with a world full of discoveries ahead of each of them. Everyone returns to, no doubt, the Rising Sands. So do we need to go to the Rising Sands to get that last chapter? Um, I don't think we ever actually found the Rising Sands. I don't think we did either, and I think that I think that's the point. I think I, I think that's the point. Are we going up the mountain? Is this a town? Uh, it's very possible. What town is this? Oh, geez, I read that wrong. <laughs> uh, rock puzzle, apparently. Damn, that's a lot of XP. The oh. Isha Mountain Range. No. <laughs> No! We're in a desert! A desert! Why is there a fish here? But look, it's it's a very small fish. It's a very small water area. Oh god, wow. That was... This fish is wily. How is there a fish in there? That's a... It's a koi fish? Yeah. Look, let's, let's get this herpy. We're in a desert. There shouldn't be fish. Golden dust geckos. Oh, is this a boundary? <gasps> We've reached the end. <laughs> the world is no longer open. We are in a box. <laughs> Everything we've known is a lie. No. I, I want to go beyond the black border. I hope the side quest references that. Let's find out. Let's see. Cliff hopping entry. That sounds that certainly sounds like it could. Uh-huh. Oh, come on. Eh? Mm. You got this. I believe in you. Hop mm -hmm. at Cliff. There we go. Break the fourth wall. Cliff hopping. You spent an hour trying to hop off the side of a mountain just to find <laughs> the top of the blocked off by an invisible barrier. You were rewarded with the big sad. <laughs> we did it. Bravo. 10 out of 10. Would big sad again. <laughs> Oh, such big sad. That is... Oh, we have we have a fortress. We have an evil fortress here. That was the wrong way. You're terrible at this. Shut up. Templar fortress. This is okay. number two? I guess. We have three. I don't... I think. Or do we have one? We only have one of the other ones. Assuming there's three. There might be more. Templar fortress. Yeah, we only have one of the other ones. 
You conquered a fortress of Templars wearing steel armor and acquired a significant amount of loot. Great. That's important. We've acquired currency. Okay. More side quests near the top <laughs> near the top of the cliff. Werewolf, Werewolf den. Man. That sounds... It sounds relatively uninteresting. Yeah. Oh, look. Water. That's not water. I wonder if there's a cliff fish. It's fake. I wonder... Void fish. A what? A void fish. <laughs> no! Just, I, I really I really just want to see like one fish just like just like completely in the black area. And you can't get it. Yep. Mess with all the completionists. Uh, out there. No! Oh, this dude's wily. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Got nope. Gotcha. Nope. Too much gotcha. compensation. You're gotcha. overcompensating. Got You're it. Overcompensating. Ooh, we got an eel. Really? In the desert? I guess so. The desert. Oh, or this is Sky Arch. Yeah. It's a it's a port city. Uh, 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 uh. I can tell having seen port cities in my day. I'm assuming those are dock, dock, goose. This certainly does look like a dock, and yet I'm walking as if I'm swimming. Look at this. I just, so I technically just... you're under the dock, I guess. <laughs> That's what it has just... to be. Sky Arch seems so disconnected. It does. I, I, like there's I think it's... walls stopping you from getting from buildings, and everything's boxed off. And yeah, you just you can't go anywhere. There's too many walls. There's <laughs> everything is stopping you. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really uh, there are a lot of obstacles here that that I I really need to take time and and um, consider how I'm going to approach things like this fish. No. God damn it. <laughs> It's okay. It's, it's not okay. okay. It's None okay. Of this I've is got okay. it. I've got it. Everything is fine. Let's see. Eh, eh, eh. Research, Research project. project. That sounds like it could be relatively interesting. That sounds like it could relatively be a side quest. That sounds like it. That sounds like the relativity of the interest that I have in it is. You helped do some research. That's Damn. <laughs> we got some knowledge. Folks. Why? Why did? Why did I? Why did I think there might be something more? There was research. Look, was fishing. Done. No, it came to me. It didn't go anywhere. It. It. Like I started out in the middle, and the fish just kind of moved to me. I got a swordfish. This is such a weird city layout. Is there like a? outlook view thing like where it zooms out i don't know but man is this the end we ha we have now reached the we've now reached the uh the northwest corner of of the void we can kind of move out this way kind of does it does it look like there's kind of a grid in the background there yeah i wonder if that shows up on on the game itself or if that's just my tv but i feel like it's not i feel like that's the game because the grid oh, the doesn't grid stops. Yeah, the grid doesn't show up in the top, but it does show up on on the side here. I think what it is is the blackness are is. We, are we beta testing this? I guess. <laughs> I think the blackness is just outside of the skybox, and this is technically inside the skybox. So technically, there's more stuff west of here. You just have to go south to get to it, because going west from this particular point is blocked off. Huh. So it's not a perfect square. Okay. Well, the whole map is a perfect square, but the actual map is not. Trope? Just more soup. Yo, I, we have to watch that one. I, I really hope it's like a really long entry. I really hope it's more soup. Hold on. Just more soup. You found a man asking for help finding clothing. You tried to help him understand he wouldn't find clothing in soup. <laughs> <laughs> It's just more soup. Why? We're at soup, folks. We are at soup. <laughs> I can't. It's just more soup. <laughs> oh, that was so good. I can't. There's just more soup. What do you mean there's more soup? Where are you? At the, <laughs> the soup. soup store. Why are you at the soup store? I'm at soup. What do you mean you're at soup? 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh, that was meta. That was meta. That's so insane. Until next time, like, comment, and subscribe if you want soup. Peace out.